Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Facebook login with Nextend Social Login. So we are going to first click on the settings panel and then you're going to want to make sure you click on the getting started for Facebook. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click navigate to and developers.facebook.com. We're going to create a new app and I'm going to call this uh, Cert Media Staging. I'm going to provide a contact email address. In this case, I'm going to make it contact at certmedia.com. This is the email address that you want to receive correspondence to if you if they are contacted. So go ahead and put a professional email there and then pass the I'm not a robot check and click submit. Once you do this, you're going to set up the Facebook login. And while that's opening, I'm going to copy this callback URL right here that I'm going to need. And then we're going to choose the web. We're going to enter our pages site URL and we're going to click save. We're going to click continue. We're going to basically skip past all of these settings because we don't need it for what we're doing. What we're going to do then is we're going to go to the Facebook login and click settings because we don't need the quick start anymore. And we're going to paste the URL in that I had just copied. This is a callback URL that you can be you redirected to. Then what you're going to do is run a check right here. And let's go ahead and save this first. And the valid you OAuth redirect URLs. This is correct. Okay. Oh. There we go. So now the valid code, uh, read, URL is being redirected. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to your dashboard. And we're going to click settings and we're going to click basic. We're going to copy our app ID. You're going to click settings and you're going to paste the app ID that you are provided. You're also going to need to copy the app secret ID. You may be prompted to insert your password to get the secret. We're then going to go ahead and hit the save button. We're going to go ahead and click verify settings just to test to see if it works. Okay. And there you have it. Now the Facebook ID works fine and is enabled. What this means is if you now go to settings, uh, not settings, under your user profile, you now have the option to link your account with Facebook, which means that you're now able to lo log in and register with your Facebook account. And to prove this works as you expect, when you go to your WordPress admin login page, you're now able to log in with Facebook. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask me in the comments section below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.